All right, what's up everyone? Now Microsoft just got done with the Xbox E3 2010 keynote. And I'm gonna go pretty fast cause I've done previous takes of this video and it's gone really long. Um, so they started off with the Call of Duty Black Ops trailer. And then they went into the single player footage of it. Um, gameplay actually. Now, it basically looked like a regular Call of Duty game to me. But if you look at it and tell, as for me, I'm not planning on picking it up right now. And then they went from there onto Metal Gear Solid Rising. Now, <laughs> this they've mainly focused on the sword um, aspect of this game. Now, uh, you use Raiden, I think that's his name. I wasn't, I haven't been a real big Metal Gear Solid fan because I was mainly Xbox. I've only owned a PlayStation One and. Then I didn't get Metal Gear Solid. Now, <laughs> what's cool about the sword aspect of the game is that you can control wherever you slice stuff. Now, they had, like, anything, too. They had a car sitting in an alley, and he was just slicing through the van or whatever it was. Um, and they had, like, a slow-mo motion thing. Slow-mo motion. <laughs> slow motion thing where a dude was, like, falling right in front of him, and he, you can choose, like where the sword is going to slice through him and he's like slice through his legs and stuff it's like awesome dismemberment there's not a I don't remember seeing a lot of like gory blood and stuff coming out but <clears throat> from there that looked pretty cool and then from there they went on to Gears of War 3 which to me um, I loved Gears of War 1 I played the heck out of the multiplayer for some reason I never picked up Gears of War 2 I've just never really felt the urge to go pick it up and Gears of War 3 basically sadly to me looks the same it has some new features I think where he like impaled a enemy with his his lancer I think it was a lancer but it was basically average gears to me now moving on from that oh they showed off some uh, four player co-op too moving on from that to Fable 3 Again, it was, it just to me looked like an average Fable game. Um, I never really, I never got Fable 1 on the Xbox, first Xbox. And I got Fable 2, and I was really wanting to like it, but I never even got through the story. It was, it was way too easy for me, at least. And the, I don't know, I guess it was graphics or the controls or something. Not the, not that the controls were hard, just, I don't know. It was, I, I really don't know why I didn't like it, but I didn't. Like, I love games like that. I love RPGs and action games and stuff. I just didn't like Fable, and sadly, Fable 3 looks the same. Now, they didn't show off that much of it. They only showed a trailer. But we'll see as that goes on. Um, from there, they announced an exclusive Crytek game. Uh, that was codenamed Kingdoms or Kingdom. That's what it said at the end. And um, I don't know if that's code name, like that's its code name, or if that's the name. I'm pretty sure that's the code name though. Um, but all it showed basically was teaser. Um, they showed like a gladiator looking dude with some blood running down his arm onto his sword. And <clears throat> from there they showed off some ha Halo Reach uh, gameplay and footage. Looked pretty cool. It was Halo Reach. Um, the camera just focus weird um but i mean it's basically the reach that we've seen we just saw some of the multiplayer stuff this time and how the ai works and stuff with noble team it's shaping up to be one of the best halo games yet um we'll see once it comes out the halo reach beta was awesome my favorite um multiplayer in the halo game yet and then from there they went on to connect which if you don't know yet connect is a new name for Project Natal. Project Natal was the old or the code name for it. So it's got officially going to be called Connect. They didn't announce a price for it, but it's going to be coming out November 4th. And like the voice commands and stuff for it, if you want it to pause or play a video or something, you just say like Xbox, like you're talking to your Xbox and then say whatever you want. Um assuming that it can do it. You can't say like make me some bacon or something. <laughs> Um, then, of course, it has video chat, which wasn't really a surprise to anyone. But the cool thing about it is it can go across PC. Now, I'm pretty sure this will work just if you have an Xbox Live camera, vision camera. 
Um, they didn't say anything, but I don't know why it wouldn't work. But you have it has to be through um, live messenger, which I don't know anyone that uses uh, messenger. So that's the downside to it. It's not like Skype where you can just call up anyone. Like basically everyone has it. Um, and then oh, and then in the video chat you can also like view movies and uh, listen to music and stuff like that in the chat in the video chat. Um, then they announced an exclusive partnership with ESPN, which basically brings ESPN3 right to your 360. You can watch all the sports, like all the different kinds of sports. You can keep up with all the scores and stuff, and it looks pretty cool. And and it works with the Connect too. Now, now they had some of the games up there for uh, Connect. Most of them were a little gimmicky stuff, like they had connectables or whatever, where it was basically like Nintendo, I guess, where you just little play with little animals. It's mostly for like little girls, I guess. Um, and then they had Connect Sports, which was obvious that they were going to have that. Um, basically, like Wii Sports, where it has soccer, bowling, track, and field games. Uh, Joyride, which is their basically kart racing game. Uh, Connect Adventures, which is just like mini games for to play with your friends at parties and stuff, I guess. Um, the Your Shape Fitness Evolved, which looks to be the best fitness game out there yet. Um, not like any of that stuff on Wii where you can cheat and do stuff if you're into fitness games. And then they have a Dance Central game, which it looks to be... I guess the best dancing game out there. I'm I'm not into dancing games, but since there's no like pads or motion controls that you have to use, it just goes by the moves that you're actually doing. Um, and that's made by Harmonix. The uh, Your Shape Fitness Evolved. It's made by Ubisoft. Uh, the dancing looks all right if you're into the dancing stuff. Then they announced a Forza for that works for the Connects. Now it's not it's not like a Forza three or or Forza three. It's not like a Forza four, but I I guess it's just like I don't know what I don't know. It, they didn't really say anything about it. They showed some gameplay of it. There's like little challenge that, challenges you can do, and they like focused mainly seem to be on like looking around a 458 Italia, and like you can go into it and look at the stats, or, like selecting the headlight and stuff and like if you're looking around like that with your head it'll do that with the camera um that looks pretty cool i'm definitely going to get that since i love cars but then they also announced an exclusive uh partnership with uh lucas arts to get a star wars games coming that's coming 2011 um i'm definitely going to get that since i love star wars <laughs> and then their big thing at the end was that they have a new console coming out it's not xbox 720 or the next generation but it's a newer xbox 360 basically like the ps3 slim so basically slim 360 i guess what you call it to have the differences um now you can see the pictures up on the screen but it looks it looks pretty sleek at first i didn't really like it that much um now it's really growing on me and i'm I'm for sure going to get one now. It won't be for a while. It launches. It, they're shipping them out to retailers today. And so you'll be able to pick it up later this week. Um, which is pretty cool. I love when, when they announce stuff and you're able to pick it up like really soon. And it's not even uh, it's not even that expensive. It's the same price. It comes with a 250 gigabyte hard drive. And it has a wireless and right in it integrated into it. And it's three hundred dollars, so it's really good deal, and it's quieter, and slimmer, and sleeker, and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> now, I'm hoping this this doesn't have the issue with the red ring of death, since consoles are still getting that, even though it's a lot less likely likely now. Um, but it's looking it's looking pretty good. Now, the one thing that I'm not sure about is the hard drive. That's one of the best features about the 360 is the 
just easily removable hard drive um that i just take like my hard drive off and take it to a friend's house and you don't have to bring the whole console with you uh which i love um but it's not looking to have that on it so i don't know how you're gonna how that's gonna all gonna work but then yeah so it's looking pretty nice and I might have missed some stuff in the keynote, but I'm out of time. So um, there should be a video up later tonight on some of the other conferences that are going on and throughout the week. So stay tuned to the channel and catch all the all the news from E3. All right, so I'll catch y'all later. Uh, <laughs> peace.